What are the most controversial moments in combat sports from 2023? Jiu-Jitsu Powerbomb The Jiu-Jitsu World League held its 2023 World's Tournament this summer in Los Angeles. We are looking for fighters in the third row. Powerbomb slammed through the judges' table is something unexpected here. Masvidal copy. Cássio do Salomão com poucos segundos. Tô na torcida pra gente ter mais um nocaute aqui agora. Bom, tô sei. Eu tô animado pra essa luta. Dois grapplings. Mas o Yuri já vem com um nocaute, né? Quem sabe ele possa surpreender. Don't blink. This guy in front of you will attempt to duplicate Masvidal's legendary flying knee KO against Ben Askren. Uma curiosidade aqui é que o Chico Louco teve que ganhar peso. Olha o... Nossa senhora! Que nocaute! Meu Deus, senhoras e senhores! Que nocaute foi esse? Palavras! O Yuri tentou um chute. Hum, maybe next time. Esse, o Chico Louco pegou ele ali no ar. No tempo! Que... Instant Karma. Degrees of separation. All here. right, round oh. one. And Dario walks right in. He's looking for the takedown right away. Ah, he kind of faked. Oh, nice up. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh big shots from fast. Smash and that's his it. Back. Smash his back. Did you? I love instant karma. MA fighter Dario Sinagoga was dealt a swift blast of karma during a recent fight as he lost his perfect record 6 to 0 within seconds following a fake glove touch. The Bray native went for the traditional touch of gloves as he stepped to the center of the cage, but quickly shot for a clinch in an effort to bring the fight to the ground. Fake win. Eli Winters in the blue, touch of the gloves. Quick smacks coming out of Hartweger. Yeah, Jameson just put it on the pressure. One, two, oh, oh that rocked him! Cuts. Winters is hurt! He is out cold, ladies and gentlemen. Eli Winters is obviously a much weaker fighter than the opponent, but he found the way to win. He faked KO after a knee to the head kick, and he won by DQ decision. In the amateur bouts, that kind of kicks are illegal. After replay, it is clear that there was a knee kick, but to the elbow. There was a flurry there right in the beginning. Yeah, he, he, he took some damage. Big uppercut shots there, big knee. Ooh. You know, I'm not really so sure that knee actually landed flush on the head. It looked like it kind of caught the arm. Yeah, if we could roll that one back again, that may we may take one more look at yeah, it here. It's, it's hard to see from that angle. It happened so fast. Yeah, yeah. we're going to get the truck to give us one more time here. I don't know if we're able to slow it down or not. So uppercut, uppercut. He's rocked there. Um, no, uh, it looks like it hits on his arm. Yeah, that knee cut the arm. That didn't actually, I mean, you know, poor, poor awareness on his part by, you know, kind of throwing that knee and not, you know, making sure where it's landing. You can't just carelessly throw a knee towards the head like that. But with that said, it did not land on the head. So hopefully they're able to work that out in right. the cage. It, it, Let's do it one more time here if I can get that instant replay. Yeah. Here we go again. Uppercut, uppercut. He's already rocked there, and it, the knee basically hits the elbow. Yeah, it hits the tricep. Um, you know, so fortunately for him, his arm did cover his, you know, Eli's head, so that way he didn't eat that damage. Dizzy fighter. Ready, ready. First, last, no reverse gear on the stand up and on the ground. Oh, oh, wow, 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 I didn't even say his name yet, Rostam. Whoa, and he doesn't know what happened. He just needed... A wild scene unfolded early at UAE Warriors 39 in Abu Dhabi, as a concussed fighter apparently had no idea he was knocked out in just a few seconds of the fight. Nazimov tried to grab a tie clinch and threw knees and kicks, while the referee did his best to remain calm throughout the situation until the fighter realized the fight was already over. Bite for win!
Бес жеңілістен кейін қазыр Денгіш шоуына шығы бот Қылқындыру әдісіме Ернеке чоу Яғы Айвейран мұрындауында 2019 жылдан бері Женгілістен көзі көзі ашылмаған бразилиялық Денгіске жеті отыр ау Арменовке бұл жерде не болды кен? Мне показалось в моменте, что он нанес удар в пах Затем начал пить и кажется нанес удар по затылку Tiago Oliveira borrowed a page out of the Mike Tyson playbook against Irkin Darmanov at Octagon 44 event. The offending sequence began late in the first round, when Oliveira dropped Darmanov against the fence with what appeared to be an illegal knee to the groin, then took his back and worked toward a rear naked choke. In a blatantly illegal move, Oliveira then bit down hard on Darmanov's ear, prompting the Kazakh fighter to frantically signal to referee Doranbek Jakayev that something was amiss. Еще такой момент мне заметили вниз и показывают. Вот оно. Оп. И... Double knockdown. At Octagon Tournament in Ostrava, Velikovic survived this double knockdown against Ion Surdu and somehow had the wherewithal to immediately pounce for a first-round submission. Press conference fight. OnlyFans stars Alexia Grace and Astrid Wett got into a heated scuffle at the KSI vs. Joe Fournier press conference, and now it looks like a boxing match might be brewing between the two women. Two quickest co's of the year. And for the end of this highlights, watch two quickest knockouts of the year. First one was two seconds KO by Travis Lawrence, and maybe too early call by the referee. Force this fight, make it a dog fight and walk away. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, my. And the second was probably the world record one set. KO! At one second into the first round, your winner via knockout, the Stag!